Now, let's look at some file sharing tools, meaning these are places where you can upload files that your entire team can gain access to. There's three major tools I want you to be familiar with. Now, there's, there's others, but I'm recommending three. And the reason I'm giving you a choice of three is you're going to choose one if you're not already using one of these. You're going to choose one, but some of you are already using tools that are in the family of one of these tools. And so that's why I'm providing you different options. The first one is Google Drive. And so if you're already using Google type things or have Google Docs or things like that, or if you're very familiar with Google and comfortable, then Google Drive will be a great place for you where you can upload um, items into a folder and you can give people access to the folder. So some people can view things in there, some can edit things in there. You can give different people access to different folders. Some people get access to the larger overarching folder. So you can give permissions on who can get into what. The next one is Dropbox, and that's where you're simply uploading files and people have the ability to download them from there as well and move them around. And then the last one is Microsoft OneNote. Now I know some of you use Microsoft products and so you might be more familiar with Microsoft. That's why I'm giving you different options, okay? And so just know that those are three options for sharing files. The reason why it's valuable to put files in the cloud where other people can access them is that it'll prevent other people from not being able to be effective because they're having to contact you to send them a file that you already know multiple people need access to. All right, so again, you can upload those. You can password protect the files. There's many things you can do from a security standpoint, but uploading them into a common place where people can access them from different places is extremely important. The other cool thing is that now we have the ability to go paperless. There's numerous apps you can use to scan in documents using your smartphone where you just have the paper right here. You're holding your phone out and it scans it in and it looks like a machine scan. Well, then you can upload those types of things into these folders so that people have access. So that way, if we're ever in a position where we really shouldn't be getting around and we're, we're practicing social distancing again and, and maybe we're not going into the church as much, people still have access to the things that they need. And so thinking about going as paperless as possible is something that if you haven't already done, you probably should do or at least doing some type of digital duplication of your documents.